So although it's not restricted to just cholesterol, uh, there's a lot of data about how um, air pollution affects somebody's likelihood of having asthma or chronic lung disease. Um, that's been shown with children and their asthma rates. Um, environment plays a huge part in how a person responds to stress and how often they are exposed to those stressors. So there's research showing that your blood pressure can be higher if you live in a neighborhood that has a lot of noise. So you can't get good sleep. So it makes sense that you're more likely to have high blood pressure and you have poor sleep. So you're more likely to have poor health. So a lot of these environmental factors I think are really playing a bigger role than we might um, be able to control at this point. But I think we have to start paying more attention to the things that we can do. Even patients in the hospital, you know, there's so much research on how having a calming environment around them or having something that, you know, looks uplifting or, or pleasant around them might help their journey and their healing. And I think that that's true in the places that we live. If we live in a safe, secure um, community, we interact with it totally differently than if we're, we're scared when we walk out the door.